Well, shall we, Vinny? Uh, I believe we are here, Brian, to discuss the WWE Night of Champions Gold Rush. Well, it's Clash of okay. Champions, Vinny, but... Son of a bitch. I apologize, everyone. Yeah, don't get this wrong for the newsletter that we don't have anymore, Vinny. Yeah. Make sure that it's accurate. Clash of Champions Gold... I'm, I'm more intrigued, frankly, by the Gold Rush part of this. Why does every paper you have a nickname? The Horror Show. Well, I mean, to me, I thought Clash of Champions was the nickname. Yeah, but apparently... Uh, Clash of Champions is the name. So there's a nickname for the nickname. Yes. That's correct. I don't know. What about like, those belts that look like pennies? Did we get rid of that's those? A, that's a good point. Some of these belts yeah, are Yeah, shouldn't cool. it be Copper Rush? What about Silver Rush for those those ugly tag team titles? Anyway. We've wasted enough of everyone's time. Well, we're going to waste more as we review the show. But that's what they want. So, all right. WWE clash of champions gold rush september 27th 2020 we open with what was not a waste of time jeff hardy versus Sami Zayn versus aj styles in a ladder match for two ic championship belts hey let me start off by saying this everybody these guys had a random three-way on smackdown on friday unadvertised to set up this ladder match just a regular three-way match there's every wwe three-way you've ever seen Somebody stole the pin for the finish. I mean, it was so generic, I can't even remember who won. So I was not all that excited going into this match. I figured it would be good. I did not figure that it would be, perhaps, the greatest WWE match of the pandemic era. It, it's way, way up there. Way, way, way up there. So they decided, these three guys, let's do a match where one of us may well die. And... Did their best to put their lives in jeopardy for, I don't know, 50 minutes, whatever it was. There was a lot of stuff here that I have never seen before in ladder matches and don't need to see again, but they did it. Uh, I could... It's basically just 15 minutes of that. Uh, some of the most insane stuff was very early, like five minutes in, there's an upside-down unfolded ladder, and Jeff jumps off the top rope and AJ dodges, and Jeff throws his body basically into a giant pair of scissors. And is essentially cut in half. I screamed at that. There's a point point where uh, I believe it was Jeff and I believe AJ are fighting on top of the ladders. And Jeff looked to me like he was just trying to climb from one side of the ladder to the other. But legit slipped and fell on his head from the top of the ladder. Uh, there was AJ. <laughs> Actually, I'll get, to that. I'll get to that one in a minute. Uh, Hardy does the senton off the super ladder on the floor through Sammy on another ladder that is bridged from the apron. At this point, Michael Cole, who we've said many mean things about in the past, and we are going to say many mean things about in the future, he had the best call maybe of his entire career when he just screams, How the hell are these men alive? And it was a great question. I don't have an answer. I don't know how they were alive. So... In addition to just being crazy, violent stuff, there was also crazy, creative stuff. I want to assume, since Sammy's the one who did it, that he spent his entire sabbatical thinking of new spots to do in perhaps in ladder matches. He gets in a pair of handcuffs, which I've seen many times in wrestling. He handcuffs Jeff's pierced ear to a ladder outside, so now Jeff can only move if he's carrying around this entire ladder clamped to his head. Then he handcuffs himself to AJ, so AJ can't climb the ladder. AJ's cr trying to climb. Sammy is just dead weight. He is face down. He's just a giant, like a, a giant dead whale on the beach, not moving. And AJ is very frustrated, but AJ is also mighty. <laughs> so he grabs the larger man, Sammy Zayn, throws him across his shoulders, and begins to climb the ladder. Do people know how hard that is <laughs> to climb a ladder with a man who outweighs you on your shoulders? It is a freak. So, Jeff drags his ladder head into the ring and begins to fight with AJ as AJ is on the ladder. As this is going on, Sammy produces the key, I believe, from his mouth, uncuffs himself, puts the handcuff on the ladder, so now AJ is cuffed to the ladder. He can't get up, and Sammy climbs to the top of the ladder and wins. This is the most creative ladder match I've seen in years and years and years and years and years. There was that NXT one a year or two ago for the North American title. That was probably better. But as far as creativity, this is, this blows away anything I've seen in I don't even know how long. And they actually hit all their spots, which helps. You know what wasn't like a great ladder match but was a really creative ladder match? Was that first Shawn Michaels-Razor Ramon ladder match at WrestleMania 10, Where 
Sean gets bumped off the ladder. He crotches the rope. His foot gets caught. He falls off. He's stuck by one leg. The other guy cl- climbs up and gets the ladder. Like, that's a really great creative finish. And we've seen wackiness like, you know, they stole it from the YWF. I, hopefully we'll have the tape for Twitch at some point when we did this in, like, 1994. But one guy gets the thing, but it falls, and the other guy catches it, and then there's a controversy. That was that was Otis's win. But anyway, so they're killing each other. Oh. And this scissor spot that you talked about, it needs a little bit more attention. All right. So Jeff is on a ladder. He's climbing up one side. And Sammy takes the other side, and he starts lifting it into the air like he's going to tip it over. But for some reason, because they had a plan, he's lifting it very slowly. Because Jeff has to have enough time to climb straight up the ladder, go over the top, and now he's climbing down the other side head first. Oh, yeah, that, that's that's not that's the same a one different one. About. Oh my yes, god! Well, this one. Yeah, that was even that was also insane. So he's climbing head first down the ladder, and Sammy keeps lifting it higher. And finally, he lifts it so high that the ladder goes backwards. It hits the post. Jeff and the ladder fall over the top rope onto the apron onto the floor. I thought this guy was dead. Yeah. And then I, I don't know if it was Michael Cole or Corey. One of these dumb shits, they make the comment that, I didn't write it down word for word, but it was something like, Jeff Hardy has been in many ladder matches, and they have led to many wonderful things in his life. (laughs) I was like, (laughs) dude, I followed Jeff Hardy's life pretty fucking closely. And I don't think that all of the great things in his life came from ladder. In fact, I think that most of the horrible things that have happened in his life are a result of these fucking ladder matches. So they're killing each other, and then they go to the handcuff spot. And like halfway through, halfway through when they were just killing each other, all I could think was, you guys are killing each other in front of TVs. Yeah. There's not even fans in this building. You're fucking killing each other in an empty building in front of a bunch of fans on the television. Basically doing a match at Best Buy. Yes, exactly. God damn, bless these men. Yes. It's one thing, exactly. I, I, I've never been anything this insane, but I can imagine how you get an adrenaline surge from hearing 5,000 or 10,000 or 20,000 people chanting your name and you do something crazy. You don't get that adrenaline surge from television sets. I've never got an adrenaline surge in a Best Buy. No, not so once. So they worked their asses off. And then, yes, the finish was very, very creative. And I was happy. You know what made me really happy? What made me happy was when we had a pandemic and it first started. They said, if you don't want to come to work, that's fine, and it will not be held against you. So Sami Zayn said, fuck this, I'm going home. And the first thing they do is they strip him of his title. And there were several champions unavailable. They did not get stripped of their titles. But goddamn, they stripped Sami. And then Sami finally returns with a replica belt, and they go out of their way to point out that he's not a real champion. He went home. He Mm. doesn't deserve this. And I'm like, fuck off. Well, at the end of the day, he won the match. He has the replica and the real title now. Yes. So that did, in fact, make me very happy. This was the highlight of the show by leaps and bounds. Yep. And it was up and down from there, I'll say. If you have not watched this, I highly recommend going back to see this. Two other things I want to talk about. Uh, uh, Some One positive... And, and some negative that has nothing to do with any of the men in the ring. So there was also one, the one great spot we did not talk about. Sammy is down in the corner. AJ and Jeff are climbing a ladder in the middle of the ring. But AJ is higher and he is about to win. So Jeff has to rock the ladder from like three quarters of the way up to tip it over right into the corner where Sammy Zayn is. Sammy sees a ladder with 400 plus pounds of human being on top of it, crashing down on top of him. He goes fetal. The ladder hits the ropes. AJ and Jeff tumble outside in a completely crazy out of control manner. And Sammy slowly uncovers, realizes he's the only one still alive and has a chance to win. That's something else I've never seen before. Now, after that spot we talked about where Jeff, I think, legit accidentally fell off the ladder. Because he lands off the, falls off the ladder, lands in his head, and gets right up to his feet. And they just keep going. But they, it's Jeff Hardy and AJ Styles trying to do a strike exchange, and there's at least one camera cut, cut for every punch, maybe more. It's infuriating and sickening. 
And actually worse, there's a point in the middle of this where Sammy is climbing the ladder in the ring. AJ from the floor fl finds a mini ladder, throws it like a javelin through the sky to knock Sammy off the ladder. On first live viewing, it, w it was as crazy as almost anything else in the match. I, he didn't fall on his head. But he was knocked off the ladder and he, he, he's clutching his hand. Dude, you know, I thought he broke his fucking wrist with that ladder. And they showed a slow motion replay to make it clear the ladder didn't come that close to him. And in fact, he had to reach out with his hand just to make contact with it. They ruined it with a replay. So production values continue to plague this company. Highly recommend this match, everyone. If you have not watched it, by all means, stop listening to me and go watch it right now.